Welcome back to your four to five. You know, last week Blanca Cobb joined us and she and I talked about body language cues that might indicate that your partner is feeling a little bit jealous by looking for signs of anger, insecurity and sadness. So this week we have Blanca back. We want to talk about what to do if you think your partner is jealous. So Blanca, let's get right into it. Let's talk about what people shouldn't do first. What is the wrong way to deal with a jealous partner? The wrong way to do it is to become immediately defensive. You hear that they're jealous and you start examining, well, I haven't done anything. This is your problem, not my problem. So when you come across as judgmental or critical of either their behavior or how you're feeling or how they're feeling, what happens is you're, you're making the situation more fiery than what it really needs to be. Yeah, you don't want to go in there with guns blazing. So you've, you've laid out a simple three-step process for people. You say the first and second steps are to empathize and examine. Explain those. Yeah, so when you want to empathize, that means you really want to empathize and show compassion for how they're feeling. Just because you acknowledge how they feel doesn't mean you agree with how they feel, but acknowledging what happens, then they're more likely to feel like they're being understood, and that's going to bring that emotional level down where you can have a conversation. So the third step in this three-step process, do we, do we get to number two? Yes, I'm so sorry. I totally, I totally whoop, just went right over my head. We're so good. you examine. So what I mean by examine is that you have to look at your own behavior, how you're contributing to that jealousy, and then also their behavior. What is it that they're doing and how are they reacting? And you want to make sure that you're looking at both sides objectively. So empathize, examine, and then third, you say decide. But what does that mean, decide? Yeah, if and how you should handle the jealousy. So what is it about your behavior that you are willing to change? For example, if they say, do you really have to talk to every single person you don't even know? Or do you have to go out every single weekend and not spend time with me? So you want to listen to that, examine your own behavior and decide what you can and will do about it. The same thing with their behavior. Are they being possessive or are they being controlling? For example, do they decide that they have to go through your phone all the time or that you have to always call in or if you look at somebody it automatically means that you don't love them so you have to decide if and how you're going to handle it see if their behavior is unrealistic and if the relationship is worth it to you and then after you make a decision then you have to execute that means follow through on what that decision is how you're going to compromise and whether the relationship is worth it to you that you're going to stick around you made it nice and easy for us to, to figure all that out. Blanca, thank you so much. We'll post these tips for you on our website, WFMINews2.com.